I didn't think it would have gone as well as it's gone, this solo thing. I thought people would have gone like that. Yeah, fuck off. Playing live for me, he's like it's that. All mind blowing, you know what I mean? We've made a great record, one of the greatest records that's been made. And you want to be hitting that stage fucking godlike, you know what I mean? I think I'm a good dad and a good mate. It's a good crack to hang out with. I could stay here forever. This is what life's about, you know what I mean? Good luck. How are you, mate? So after 30 years, it's so nice Lennon to see you. Lennon Jean. What's your name? Jean. Oh, it's Jane. a great name. Yeah. Lennon. Lennon. Great rock and roll name. Yeah. You all made the I tell you one Not as good as Kingsley, though, is it? If you go into the music business, you're half as successful as your dad, he'd be proud of you. <laughs> nah. Is that right? It, well, yeah. <laughs> They've got a long way to go, though, didn't they? <laughs> They've got chops for it, though. <laughs> Look at this ghost. sexy. Hello, mate. <laughs> all right, mate. I'm no see. Feel a bit what yeah. You all right? Yeah, good man. When you've been away for a couple of whatever, a year or whatever, whatever it is, I think it's always good to come back with a rocking tune. One, two. <laughs> Three,
do you know what we're so grateful for after 60 years? That the two greatest albums, which we always show in Rockford, is What's the Story, Morning Glory, yeah. and Night of the Opera. Yeah. That's not too bad, is it? Yeah. What was he like, Freddie Mercury? Well, he's all right, like quiet, you know. Yeah. He, wrote, he wrote part of it in the office there, Beaming Rhapsody. He, he, looked was, like, he looked a bit shy. He was shy, he you was know. Shy. <laughs> <laughs> and then, I don't know. <laughs> we made the great record, one of the greatest records that's been made, as far as I'm concerned. Yes, cows. Respect. Don't eat it all at once. You'll get indigestion. I think we were there about six months, but we split up and then we got back together. There was a bit of fighting. There was a cricket mat. There was an air pistol. There was lots of drinking. What's the story, yeah. Moon in Glory? <laughs> For fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> was, and we smashed the fucking gaff up. To be fair, so I was glad that it let me back. You know what I mean? I mean, I spent more time in the fucking pub than I did here. You know what I mean? Which is a shame. You know what I mean? But. You know, I'd do my singing and I'd come back and our kid would still be playing the same fucking riff over and over and over again. It was like, look, come back to our gaff, you know what I mean? We're having a great time. What about, no, the miserable cunt? He won't want us back there. I went, oh, he loves you. You pay for his big fucking house. He'd love to see you. But it wasn't like that, you know, we'd bring them back and all that stuff and he'd be like, going, who the fuck are these dickheads? I'm going, hey, these are your fans. <laughs> <laughs> Chris's little like piano bits, yeah. like a saloon in the Cowboy West. Yeah. This started because when lockdown happened, everyone obviously we're all panicking and fucking think that fucking we're all gonna die and we don't wash our hands 900 fucking times a fucking minute. So then you go to the pub while you get on a piss. So we did that for six months, and then obviously you're getting bored of getting wankered, you know what I mean, and washing your fucking hands. So I thought, started doing. I got a little studio in the house, done the vocals. Before we knew it, we had an album sort of done. This sounds sounds good, man. Yeah. It is, indeed. Come on, you know, Pete. It's not a fucking quiz show. It's probably going to be a single, you know what I mean? So instead of it being in your ears, it's nice to get it in your DNA, you know what I mean? And running through your veins and that. So when you play it live, you just be able to... just rolls off the tip of the tongue, you know what I mean?
Mate, Diamonds in the Dark sounds proper funky, doesn't it? I mean, then we're loving it. We should have got you playing fucking bongos on that. Douglas yeah. Norman Morris. <laughs> good to see you again, you my right? friend. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? I see you still got the shit on the wall. Um, sorry about that. How is Manchester United these days? Uh, not very good. Not as good as Manchester City, I see. Not as good, no. There you go. The well, you had few, your fun. You've had a bit of fun over you had the your years. Fun. But now I've got to take this. You have to take You have to take <laughs> them licks, mate. How's life? How's the missus? Yeah, yeah, everything's good. Yeah, still giving you shit. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. You know everything's all right. Yeah, don't you know. Oh. Yeah. All is good. As long good, as you've been picked on, you know it's good. There you go, mate. Yeah. Thank you yeah. very much. Thank you. Nice. Now, nice. are you paying for this? <laughs> what the fuck? What are you paying for this? Come on, Gene, pick up. Come on, <laughs> what, Rod, Stewart, Rod Stewart in the area, that's what Rod Stewart does, doesn't he? Oh, when he apparently, when he goes to buy a pint, he bends down and fucking gets his shoelace. <laughs> but that's cheers, lads. Cheers. Cheers. Chin chin. Who wants an arse to kick first at pool? We'll see, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. see, we'll see. Show these young mm. guns how it is. Alex Hurricane Higgins in the area. Right then, set him up. got a pound. Set him up. Right, you want me to break? Ready? Yeah, you break. Let's see what you got. Is that a red? Uh, I actually wasn't really watching. I think I'm a good dad and a good mate, you know what I mean? I'd sort of let them get on with it, you know what I mean? The good crack to hang out with. Come on, Ray Reardon. Ooh, Ooh shaky hands, mate. <laughs> shaky hands. Wee! Oh! oh. Got that on camera, you belt. <laughs> Got that. Lemon. <laughs> lemon comes across as the chilled one, but he's a fucking. He's, he's got a little temper as well. Gene comes across as the Larry one. He's a bit sensitive. Shittest game of all ever. They're both fucking little madheads, but good, you know what I mean? They think they've got good qualities, you know what I mean? Come on, shaky. I mean, shaky. Come on, shaking Steve. Don't the red, don't don't fuck, the red. You touched the plat, mate. That's I didn't touch the red. Fuck off. Fuck you, Mr. Fucking Shaky. Feeling <laughs> in your mind? Oh, oh decent, decent, decent. Let's nice try. Let's try. I'd love to try. You've got to pick up, man. Out of the way, dickheads. Out of the way. Fuck off. If they step out of fucking line, they'll get telling off, you know what I mean? For sure. And the thing is, even though I haven't got a leg to stand on, I've got a fucking knee to bounce off, you know what I mean? Ready for some action? Nah, I bottled it. <laughs> oh, hey, you fucker! <laughs> no. Yeah, well, at least I tried, though, mate. <laughs> As if we haven't. They'll sometimes sit there and go, well, you fucking, you can't talk. That's the reason why I can talk, you know what I mean? It's because I've been there, bought a fucking T-shirt. <laughs> Dear guys. Dear guys. You just try and guide them how it is, but you don't want anyone to be old before the time, you know what I mean? People need to make their own mistakes. It's how you, um, it's how you wriggle your way out of them. Like Houdini. Oh, God. Shit. <laughs> what is it? Right, it's over. <laughs> Let's go. Cubs <laughs> <Hubs> here. <laughs> <laughs> And if we hadn't have done this record, we wouldn't have got right to do Nebworth. It takes balls to put it on, you know what I mean? See, but, but then again, I'm in touch with the fans, you know what I mean? I speak to them on a daily basis, you know what I mean? And, you know, a lot of the kids are always sort of going, look, when, when are you going to do Nebworth? Like, we weren't there, we weren't born and all that. So you sort of got to... I'm in tune with what, they, what they're after, so I think it's a good time to do it now with the Queen's Jubilee and that. I think it's going to be... If the weather holds out, I think we could have a fucking banging time. And the Queen's cool. One, two. Right. Maybe, should we turn it down a bit, Bert? Yeah. For this one. Hello, one, two. Back up though a bit, because I need that bollocks, you know what I mean? One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. Maybe a bit of piano in here. One, two. Yeah, nice, right. Right, let's go then. My mum wasn't there last time, so, you know, she'll be here this time, that'll be nice, I mean. But she'll probably come the first night, and I'll get off this first night scarper and show her how professional I am. And she'll be going, Jesus, now, I don't know what all the fuss is about there. I'm sure they're all lying, Liam, saying that you're up all night drinking, smoking, and smashing it up. I'm, like, I'm telling you, it's fucking terrible. The fucking, the papers giving me shit and that. Look, I'm off stage, I'm going home with you. Got a cup of tea. 
Take a step, watch the ground rise to meet your feet somehow. When all that you are just ain't enough, the universe will provide a guiding hand, a crack of light. You're too good for giving up. Imposters and counterfeits, so called low life sound misfits. Reclaim your shame and dress it up in love. Tomorrow's waiting down the line, it's getting late, but there's still time. You're too good for giving up. Look how far you come, stronger than the damage done. Step out of the darkness unafraid. Remember you belong here as much as anyone. Sitting by a bedside light, the lonely God, the unseen night, ever further from their God above. Let your silence make a sound, all that's lost can still be found. You're too good for giving up. Look how far you come, stronger than the damage done. Step out of the darkness unafraid. Remember you belong here as much as anyone, even when you're just about to break. Take a step, watch the ground rise to meet your feet somehow. When all that you are just ain't enough, the universe will provide a guiding hand, a crack of light. You're too good for giving up. will provide a guiding hand, a crack of light. You're too good for giving up. You want to be hitting that stage fucking godlike, you know what I mean? Man, after this pint, or maybe after today, I'm going into, I'm going into lockdown and preparing for it, get myself a little bit fitter, and get in there and steam in there and have the best fucking weekend known to man, you know what I mean? Nice. First time I laid eyes on Eric Cantona was when he played for Leeds, and I think we beat them at Main Road, and we've come out and he stormed off and he's got on the bus, and he's outside the Main Road. He's got the right fucking hump like the French do. I remember him looking at me going like that. You fucking. God. Anyway, then he signed for United. If we went. And then he signed for United, and I was going, fucking hell, I like I liked the way he plays and that. Then I met him in a fucking club in Paris, me and my two mates who were United fans. I had a drink with him, he turned around, he went, hey, hey, are you one of the uh, Gallagher boys? I said, I said, I said, I am. And then once come out and I seen him on Instagram, listening to it, saying it was his favourite song. So I got someone to call and I went, well, wouldn't he be great to be in a video? I don't like doing videos, you know what I mean? So we asked him, would he be in it? And he said, he said, yeah. So I said, how much money do you fucking want to be in it? And he went, I do not want nothing. I said, I'll give you something. I do not want nothing. So, right, 
let us know what fucking flight you want. I will get my own flight. I was going, we'll get the fucking flight. What hotel do you want? I do not want a hotel. So, where the fuck are you going to fucking stay? You must want, we'll get you a car to pick you up from the fucking, get you a sleeping bag. I do, I bring my own sleeping bag. I'll get you a car to pick you up from the fucking, you know, from the fucking airport to the thing. I will get my own fucking car. We've got catering. You don't want that, do you? I bring my own fucking catering. So anyway, that was all he did. He sat there and he drunk his fucking wine, done the video, fucked off, and that was it. See you later. Goodbye, my English friend. It was easier to have fun back when we had nothing Nothing much to manage Back when we were damaged Sometimes the freedom we want to feel so uncool You just clean the pool And send the kids to school but oh, I remember you used to shine back then. You went down so easy like a glass of wine, my friend. When the dawn came up, you felt so inspired to do it again. But it turns out you only get to do it once. I think it's true what they say That the team is borrowed You give it back tomorrow I minus the sorrow And the pain she just comes in To break up the daydream A knife edge is waving To keep from feeling the same thing Mago, that was the one. How many more songs do you want to my mom? Oh, what do you play guitar and drums, is it? Yeah. yeah. You play guitar he's, too. He's guitar, he's guitar. They're both in separate bands, but I keep telling him to join a band together and get yeah. on with it. Yeah, that's exactly right. You yeah, know. I mean, who knows? You've got, you've got a great mentor, by the way. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, you don't want to push him into being an estate agent, but um, I used to play music, play music around the house. Quadrophenia, I'd ram, I'd, that's the only thing I rammed into the Reds was Quadrophenia. 
they, they picked it up themselves, you know what I mean? I don't play guitar, I play a little bit and that, but they, they have shit on it, you know what I mean? They know all about the pedals and the amps and the sounds and stuff, so they, 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 they're learning it themselves, man. You've got to keep going, and whatever happens, just keep doing it. Exactly. And have exactly. fun, because if you don't have any fun, it's hopeless, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. Oh, mate, fun's where it's at. Isn't it just? Exactly. And this lot always had fun, I have to say. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, and that's what you remember. You always remember characters. Yes. yes. And, and characters. Yeah. I fucking love the characters. Right, <laughs> hey, come on. I love you, man. Look after yeah. yourself. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in a, I'll see you in a bit. Lovely. See you in a bit. Nice, nice to see you again. for having us again. You're welcome. In a bit. Nice see. to meet you. <laughs> Number one, man. <laughs> Don't say Daddy doesn't take you places. Go oh, on the swing. Fuck off. Go on the swing. Mate, you have I'm a little like, kick on the swing. This, this is a great use of the holiday. <laughs> so, how do you feel it went on the drums, our kid? You were shit. Was, I thought you were fucking pretty shit, actually. I think I was shit. Yeah, there was something like... Mate, you were out of time. Yeah. Man. Yeah. I could see Dan looking at you going like, fucking hell. Well, Dan, Dan looked at me going, how long is this going to last? <laughs> how many more gigs is this guy going to be around for? <laughs> because I, he, didn't, he didn't want me there. You look good. 
That's you look good. I'm, I'm actually That's muted. That's they amazing. don't actually record anything that I play. Yeah, you like to sit it, vicious. You like yeah, to sit Darren, vicious. Darren just does it behind closed doors, and then they just play it through a speaker. Like, so vicious, and I just sit there and pretend. Because yeah. if you really look closely, I'm not even hitting it on time. Yeah, you are like a performing monkey. Yeah. I just clap, clap, and do a backflip, clap, yeah. clap again. So, would you come here again, do you reckon? Yes. 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 Would you bring your girlfriends here? I will come yes. here. I will come here next week. Yeah, I might come here for my 50th, actually. <laughs> no, I'm fucking serious. Sure. I'm digging it. I think you've just got to look after yourself, aren't you? Try and keep yourself in a bit of some sort of shape. I'm not a yoga dude and I don't eat tofu and that. I drink lager and I like to have a fucking good time. So, I'm not like. I'm not. I don't punish myself into like. Try to be like some kind of super fucking skinny dude, you know what I mean? Like some of these fucking dicks do, you know what I mean? It's like, I am what I am, you know what I mean? I'm not like a 50 year old going around fucking preaching. I'm just doing the same thing. I think people just like to have a good time, and so do I. I'm no mate with I'll be like this when I'm fucking 80. Hopefully. Oh, that fucking. <laughs> More, 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 less feedback. Train all alone at dawn Back into the home where I was born The sun in the sky never raised the night to me There's blood on the tracks and they must be mine The fuel on the hill and I feel fine Don't look back cause you know what she might see To the wall of my mind's eye I think I know but I don't know why The questions are the answers you might need I'm coming in a mess, going out in style I ain't good looking but I'm someone sound No one can give me the address not to breathe I met my And the words of every man you'll need So get up off the floor and believe in life No one's ever gonna ever ask you twice Get on the bus and bring it on home to me Don't even know you 
Proper 50. What if, I mean, like, what is a 50 year old? You know what I mean? I dress the same as I did when I was 20, so nothing's really changed. So, you know, you know obviously, you get you know, a bit of like you're getting older and a bit like you bend down and you fucking. When I bend down at the time, my shoelace, I speak some mad fucking language, man. So, yeah, obviously, there's a few um, aches and pains and that, but in mentally, in my head, I'm fucking on it, man, without a doubt. Okay, <laughs> now. Went I'm off to Berlin for me, mate, sweaty first, and then you're going nowhere, you little dick. Get away stairs. <laughs> What was that? I'll tell you another do you think fucking Sonny's out on a bender? How much do you think fucking other comes out on a bender when you're going fucking nowhere, mate? You get fucking back in your room. Count to 12 in Japanese. Right. Mm -hmm. Could do these gigs, then we're all going to go to Mustique for a party in September, get my mum out there about sweaty, who has got two gaffs rented next door. And then uh, have a have a bit of a do out there. I didn't really celebrate me for it. If I went like out for some food and shit, and that was it. But you know, like people fucking celebrate their twenty first. Now they're out for a month, aren't they, and stuff. So I owe it to myself to have a bit of a bender. Right, listen, lads. Don't say I don't ever take you to all the fucking hot spots. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I'm off to Mustique for two all weeks. Right, right, yeah, right yeah. Yeah. I'll send you a postcard. I'll send you a postcard. <laughs> Man, don't tear it up too much on the bathroom. Do us a favour, get the bill on the way out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gene, you're picking it up, yeah. Love you long time. Love you long time. Love you, Love you long time. It's a long way back to London, isn't it? You know what I mean? So if they start dissing me, they're fucking walking. You know what I mean? Mate, I don't want to go in there after him, man. Yeah, no one uses the toilet after him, man. Like, have a heart attack. Mate, yeah. you've got to go save him. You've got to go save him. Dementia's kicking in. He <laughs> doesn't know where he is. Mate, he's gone to the toilet and gone, <laughs> where am I? I'm at Nedworth. Where am I? Walking around for it, it were well, yeah, yeah. just talking to like the big fucking urinal. <laughs> <laughs>
Supersonic Daniel, mate. Nice and easy, mate. Are there any uh, backing vocalists okay. knocking about? After you, mate. After you, mate. After you, mate. He's wrote some top tunes, and no one else could sing them like I can sing them. But I can get I can get people to play them on guitar like Noel does. You know what I mean? So um, I deserve all the fucking credit. I'd say I definitely got a bit more professional, but you do though when you get older, you know what I mean? 
I didn't give a fuck. I loved going out. I loved doing the tunes, partying. That's what I thought I had to do. My job is to just get in there, look cool, sing as good as I can and bring the rock and roll side to it. I've definitely chilled out a bit, for sure.